Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel. It's been a while since I made some videos, had a lot of stuff going on uh, in my life, had a move. I moved to South America amongst other things, I've been pretty busy. Now today I want to talk about a couple of things that I've been talking about for a couple of years to my patients and those uh, things are exercises for, well videos, for the medial triceps and the wrist flexors and this video is going to cover the, the medial triceps and the next one will cover the wrist flexor muscles. This is mainly in treatment for ulnar nerve entrapment that happens with elbow bending. Okay, so the ulnar nerve, common problem that a lot of people have, irritation and numbness of the two last digits, pain along the medial side of the forearm, the ulnar side of the forearm, and even at the elbow, quite common. The ulnar nerve, it passes it has several entrapment areas, compression areas. It goes through the scalenes, then under the collarbone, under the pec minor. Then it goes under something called the arcade of strutters, which is a ligamentous area in the medial, uh, medial um, distal side of the humerus. And it goes inside something called the cubital tunnel, which we're going to get to in the next video. The, a, lot, well, a lot of patients have increased ulnar symptoms when they bend the elbow. If it doesn't happen when you bend the elbow, it's probably coming from another area, for example, the collarbone or uh, something in the neck, the spine. But if it really aggravates with elbow bending, the problem tends to be the medial triceps. And I will show you today how you can exercise it. It's actually quite difficult, but I'm, I've developed a good method to do it, and I will show you that today. The tricep, the medial tricep, is really mainly trained when you have external rotation of the humerus and you can pronounce that activation a little bit more, emphasize it a little bit more with maximal supination of the forearm and then working those last, especially those last 45 degrees of extension, forcing supination. So let me show you how to do that. I've set up a band here. I'm not, I think you will be able to see this pretty well. So I'm just going to use the door. I have attached the band to the door. And you see the first thing I do, I'm going to keep my shoulder a little bit up. Look at my other videos for that if you're not sure why. But it is mainly to put the collarbone off the brachial plexus. So shoulders a little bit up. You have lateral rotation of the arm. So this is going to be zero degrees technically. But you put your arm, you put the, humor, uh, the humerus in zero degrees of rotation. And then you have maximal, you force that supination of your, um, of your forearm. And what you're going to do is, to, and let me see if I can get this door to stay stable. What you're going to do is that you're going to maintain those angles, shoulder up, zero degrees on the, in, the, in the humerus, and you're going to force the supination, and you will go slowly, 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 slowly. You can see I'm even shaking. I can, this is a light band. I can do this very easy. But if I really do it slowly and I focus, I can get those medial tricep fibers. And you're going to see shaking and it will be slow. And I can feel it's burning on the inside there. All the way to extension. All the way to extension. And you do this until you feel mild to moderate fatigue once or twice per week. This exercise is great for ulnar nerve entrapment at the elbow. That tends to worsen with arm bending, elbow bending. It is also good for uh, triceps tendinitis. A lot of people have very strong lateral triceps, weak medial triceps, quite common. So I recommend these exercises. Well, this exercise for, uh, for that problem, I hope this will benefit you. Be aware that if you train this too hard and you have ulnar neuropathy, it will get worse. So make sure that you do one set until mild fatigue once or twice per week. That's it. All right. You can look at my other video for, I think it's called sets and reps for chronic pain. If you have any doubts about that. So hope this was helpful. Have a great day.